Hey, what's up? Stephanie, the English coach here from EnglishFullTime.com. In this video, I want to tell you the three ways to transform your confidence in English. If you are struggling with your confidence, if you are afraid of speaking, if you are afraid of making mistakes, if you just don't feel like yourself, like if you're really confident in your native language and you can do public speaking or talk to your coworkers or whatever, but in English, you just, you know, your hands start to sweat, your feet start to sweat and you just clam up and you face your you face you feel your face getting really hot and you're just like I wish I could be who I am in my native language in English also if this is you then this video is for you right you're struggling with your confidence you're feeling all types of ways and it's not good so there are three ways to transform your confidence in English okay you could change your mindset you could improve your skills or you can gain experience. Now, let me explain all of these. Sometimes changing your mindset is simply as easy as changing the way you think. Maybe you are thinking thoughts, right? Ne maybe you have negative thought patterns that are really bringing you down and making you feel like for some reason your English is not good enough, your vocabulary is not big enough, your pronunciation is not clear enough. Um, and maybe the reality is that none of that is true. Okay, I've seen so many English learners come into our programs and, you know, they struggle with their confidence and they're just like, I don't know about my pronunciation, my this, my that. And I'm listening to them going, wow, your pronunciation is pretty good. Your grammar is excellent. You know, the way you express yourself, you have a lot of vocabulary. So I'm here and as the listener going, actually, you're way better than you realize. Why are you being so hard on yourself? So that's the first thing. You have to analyze how you see yourself. How are you looking at yourself? And are you being kind to yourself? Are you being gracious with yourself? Are you allowing yourself to go through the journey to make the mistakes? Are you enjoying the process? Are you having fun? Or are you beating yourself up for every little mistake that you make? Are you deciding to just like sit there at the table and be quiet instead of sharing a story when you could share a story with other people who are all engaged and talking and having fun, right? So sometimes it's simply a matter of saying, I've been like this for this many years and I don't like it and it's not serving me and I refuse to continue being this person. I refuse to continue thinking these thoughts and you have to fill in the blank. You have to actually analyze how you are thinking about yourself and what are the destructive thoughts that are getting in your way, right? I don't know what those thoughts are. I'm not inside of you. You know what those thoughts are and maybe you've never even thought about this. So if you do feel like you lack confidence, ask yourself, what have I been telling myself? What are those secret little thoughts that are there that maybe you might not even be consciously aware of, right? Maybe they're feelings. Try to put those feelings into words. Try to express them, right? So what is it that you're thinking that's negative about yourself, that's holding yourself back, that's making you be quiet and not speak up and all these things and feel awful when you're communicating in English? What are those things? And then decide, I'm not going to be like this anymore. I'm not going to think these things anymore and replace those negative mindsets and negative thoughts with something positive. Okay. What are those positive things you can tell yourself? Like, Hey, I did a good job when I said that thing, or I can't believe I remembered that word or I, whatever it is, like start congratulating yourself for your accomplishments, change the way that you think about yourself, lift yourself up, right? You don't have to put other people down to lift yourself up. Like one thing I see in a lot of forums is English learners, when they're trying to work on this whole mindset shift thing, instead of simply lifting themselves up, they put others down to lift themselves up. Like for example, they'll say, yeah, native speakers, they're all a bunch of monolinguals anyways. They only know one language, you know, like they're putting other people down in order to lift themselves up and you don't need to do that, okay? It doesn't matter how many languages other people know or if most English speakers only know one one language that is because of their life circumstance, the geography of the world, power, politics, all kinds of things. Okay. So let that be what it is. That doesn't have to have any bearing on how you think about yourself, right? Don't put other groups of people or anybody else down to lift yourself up. Just be proud of your own accomplishments. You've worked hard to get to where you are. Okay. So again, that's the first way you can transform your confidence is your mindset. Now, let us know in the comments if this is you, right? Are you one of these people that needs to change your mindset? Are you really hard on yourself? What have you been telling yourself? And what do you need to start telling yourself to make this transformation? And I've seen this is the easiest way to 
transform your confidence, by the way. I've seen people do it literally overnight, go from being shy and actually one person comes to mind immediately. I actually interviewed him on my channel. I will link it below. His name is Long. Hi, Long, if you're watching this. Um, he was a student in my program, one of my programs, I think in 2018, and he had been living in the USA for 20 years and he was quiet, he was shy, he just didn't feel good around his coworkers and everything. And then he did one of my programs and he said, week five, I believe, he's like, that changed everything for me. Cause there, that was a week where we talked about mindset and confidence and stuff. And he said he decided to be a different person and he just went out and started talking to strangers. He started making friends and meeting people and it was amazing. It really, like, this is the easiest way to transform your confidence because it can happen overnight. You don't have to work on it. I mean, you will be working on it long-term most likely, but you can start seeing results right away. So let us know in the comments if this is you and what you've been telling yourself and what you need to start telling yourself because then other people can read through these comments. It's like a forum, right? And they can get ideas. Like if you say, oh yeah, you know, I thought about this and I've been telling myself this and I need to start telling myself that. Another person can read that and go, oh my gosh, I've actually been doing the same thing. And they might realize something that they've never realized before. So your input on this is actually very important. Okay, the second way to transform your confidence is to improve your skills, right? So maybe you're not that confident in your pronunciation because the reality is your pronunciation needs work. That's okay, it's not a bad thing. In fact, it's really good for you to realize what needs work because when you get better at doing something, it's easy to be confident. You know, this is actually pretty crazy. A lot of people say, oh, I'm an awful cook. I'm a terrible cook. Um, you know, I can't cook. I usually ask them, I go, oh, so, you know, how often do you practice cooking or did you ever study it? Did you ever learn it? Did you ever put any effort into this essentially? And usually the answer is no. And then it's kind of like, okay, come on. If you don't practice something, you won't get good. That's just logic, right? So the opposite is if you practice something, you will get good. It's inevitable. So if something is lacking in your English, be it vocabulary or pronunciation or grammar or fluency or public speaking skills or stage presence or whatever it is that you need for success and happiness in your life, make that a point to work on it. Okay. And it's okay. Wherever you're at right now, it's okay. You're not going to be there forever. And if you would like to get a jump start on any of those things, I of course invite you to join us in our programs. We have several different programs. We have our accent freedom program for pronunciation, speaking, your voice, presentations, etc. The daily English program, which will help you in all areas of your English, basic to brilliant vocabulary transformation course, which is just focused on vocabulary, the fluency breakthrough challenge. Okay. So we've got a lot of different programs and we're actually opening enrollment to our fluency breakthrough challenge for January, 2023. It's a 30 day challenge. You've probably been hearing me talk about this. I'm very excited. If you want your fluency breakthrough next month, then join us. It's going to be amazing. So yes, improving your skills is a way to build confidence. If you work on something a little bit every day, you will get better at it. And that skill level, having a higher skill level will make you feel more confident. And finally, the last thing to improve and transform your confidence is simply experience. When you have experience doing something, it's easy to be confident. When you lack experience, it's easy to be scared. Think about it this way. Let's say you have a positive mindset. Let's say your English is great. So you've got the skills and you've got the mindset, but experience. And let's say you start a job at a call center or a sales position and you have no experience, you're probably going to be a little bit scared, right? And lack confidence. But once you have a month on the job, two months on the job, five years on the job, 20 years on the job, okay, you're going to get more and more and more and more confident because you're going to become comfortable with what you're doing. The actual experience going through the motions is going to make you confident. And this is why in all of my programs, we have homework, <laughs> you know, projects, things that the students have to do. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to sit here and teach you English. It's like every single week, there's something for you to do. There's homework you have to do. There's maybe you have to do a presentation. Maybe you have to do a research project. Maybe you have to do something, right? I love getting the students to do things with their English so they have experiences because I know that having experience with English builds confidence, okay? So in summary, those are the three ways to transform your confidence, your mindset, your skills, 
and your experience. Think about all those things. Think about where you're at. Think about what you need. Think about what you can improve. How can you gain experience? How can you improve your skills? How can you change your mindset, right? Let us know in the comments. If you are not subscribed to this channel and you find this kind of information helpful, please go ahead and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you in the next video. Bye.